Joining me now is former Senator for Tasmania, Erica Betts, with a shocking story of how the cultural dance show produced um, in association with the Epoch Times has been deplatformed by pressure from Beijing to the companies with which they have historically advertised. Erica Betts, welcome to the program. It's a joy to have you with me. Eric, tell me what is going on here. Wonderful to be on your program, Amanda, and uh, all the best uh, with it, and you're doing a great job. Look, the simple fact is that Chen Yun has been a uh, classic uh, dance company, performing company, uh, celebrating Chinese culture, for over a thousand years, they are into traditional cultural dance and they tour the world. They're celebrated as being top class. And as they tour the world, they come to Sydney as well. And as we speak, they are performing in Sydney. And I f happen to uh, have the opportunity to witness them and uh, see the performance coming Saturday night. But normally they would advertise their uh, performances so the public knows about it and they can come along. Westfield Shopping Centre is a very good place to uh, provide such advertising and it was declined by Westfield. Now you've got to ask yourself what on earth is the problem with a dance uh, company being able to advertise its performances? What is so controversial about it? The only controversy about it is that as part of what they tell us is that this is about China before communism. In other words, their cultural roots go way back before the Cultural Revolution and indeed the Chinese takeover. And as a result, Beijing clearly brings pressure to bear on certain organisations. And you've got to ask the question, why would a corporation in Australia not want to advertise a Shen Yun performance? And the ironic thing about all this is, Amanda, you go to Westfield's website and you see the values that Westfield's promotes. And you know what the very first one is? Boldness. Well, they are showing anything <laughs> but boldness here. They are absolute cowards in not allowing this adv advertising uh, to take place. I mean, this is a reputable um, and, and quite beautiful display of uh, dance and culture, and it doesn't involve politics or controversy, other than the fact, as you say, it's covering um, aspects of culture before the Cultural Revolution. But what does it say about um, the company that owns Westfield Shopping Centres, that they're prepared to apparently kowtow to the demands of what must be the Chinese Communist Party. This is the corporate cowardice that we're starting to see in Australia, and uh, that is why I wrote in the Epoch Times about it, asking Westfield Shopping Centres to, in fact, be bold, live up to their own values. Because, <laughs> yeah, if they're not willing to take a stand on this, one wonders what else would they be willing to flip on if there is just the slightest bit of pressure. But look, the Shen Yun uh, uh, Performing Arts Company is just that. They celebrate Chinese culture from a thousand plus years ago. It is as traditional as you can get. And that is why they celebrate that this is Chinese culture before the communist uh, takeover and look with uh, the communist regime yeah, the world sort of started with a revolution undertaken by chairman mao well there's a lot of chinese history before that which needs to be celebrated ought to be mm. celebrated that is what the shen yun performing arts company seeks to do they take it right around the world it's celebrated right around the world and yet we have a shopping centre company in Australia somehow finding difficulty in being allowed to advertise a very innocuous uh, dance company. And one has to ask, why would they refuse the advertising dollar? It must be for fear of something else. And one can only guess what that might be. And it does not suggest that Westfields in any way, shape or form is living up to its values of being bold. What's the impact, though, on 
free Chinese Australian media for the impact of big Australian corporates ganging up with Beijing to potentially keep them out of their potential audience? It, it's very disheartening for them. Uh, also, what they're seeing is that that which they have come from in China to a free society where diversity is able to be celebrated, that this is starting to be dampened down as well by the corporates for only one reason, and that is they're not sufficiently bold to uh, stand up or take a bit of the uh, adverse publicity that might come their way from uh, a brutal dictatorship. And at the end of the day, the only reason Westfield is able to operate, in fact, get started in Australia, grow as it has and be a successful corporation is because it developed in a economy that is not dominated by a communist dictatorship. Uh, they should be celebrating yes. the freedom and the smaller liberal society in which we live and having a dance company performing should be part and parcel of that without uh, giving into the unwanted pressure from overseas. Um, troubling indeed. I share your concern. Erica Betts, thank you very much for giving this issue the attention it deserves.